you gotta test drive the car before you buy it, right? That's what a lot of people say, and they do that to reference having sex before marriage, because you wouldn't wanna marry somebody and you don't know what they're like in bed. But if you look at car dealers, when different people buy the car, they use the car, they sell it back to the dealer, the value depreciates and the car starts to develop wear and tear, right? Things start breaking down, things gotta be fixed. Depending on how many people have driven that car and for how long, the car could be rendered worthless. So we gotta think about this when we think about having sex before marriage. The best thing for anyone to do is to come into marriage a virgin because all you'll know is your partner, right? So what you've done by having sexual partners prior to marriage, is you've given yourself baggage that you'll now take into the marriage. Now your marriage partner has to deal with this, right? He has to deal with the wear and tear. She has to deal with the wear and tear. You're in conflict with one another when all of this can have been avoided if you would have just saved yourself till marriage. And that's why the Lord, he's always looking out for our best interests. We think he's trying to hinder us. No, he's trying to preserve us and make life easy for us. This ain't prosperity, but I want you to prosper.